Hi, this project is the demonstration of online user behavior analysis on graphical model. The system extracts the user's online shopping behavior and will show in graphical format. This graphical format helps the admin during decision making process. User sequential behavior pattern is tracked by the system and is put in graphical format which helps during decision making process. Let's see how the system works. There are two people who will log into the system. One is the user, another one is the admin. So now we will be seeing the user login. User must specify the user ID and the password to log into the system. If the user is a new member, he can click on to the sign up button. He will be redirected to the registration page. He must specify the email ID, mobile number, name, username and password. Username and password will be used to access the system. So let's go back to the user login module. Since I had registered myself, so I'll be using the ID and the password. Once the user logins to the system, he can access the following modules, view products, card details and transaction details. So let's see the view products module. Over here, the user can view the various products as well as he can view by selecting the category and subcategory. So let's select any one of the product. As the user clicks on to the product, he can view the product details as well as the recommended products. As he had selected Apple iPhone 5. So these two products had been recommended by the system. So he can view the stock available description as well as the amount. He can specify the quantity he want to purchase and click on to the add to cart button. This details had been added to cart successfully. Let's see the cart details module. User can view the cart details as well as the total cost. To make payment, he must click on to the confirm payment button and he will be redirected to the payment module here you must specify the card number the card number can be any credit card or debit card and the cvv number and the expiry date of the card once he clicks on to the submit button System will show whether he want to make the payment confirm or not. Once he clicks on to the OK button, the payment is done successfully. Let's see the transaction details module. Over here, he can view the previous transaction as well as the current transaction. This is how user login works. Let's see the admin login. Click on to the admin login button. Admin must specify the ID and the password to log into the system. Once the admin logins to the system, these are the options he can access that is add product details, stock details, prediction, recommended products, view product details. So let's see the first module that is add product details. Let's add some product. Select the category, subcategory, specify the product name. Specify the description of the product. Quantity of the product purchased by the admin. As well as the amount of the product. Now admin must select the image of the product. Click on to the upload button. You can see the image over here. And click on to the submit button. These details will be stored in the database and it can be viewed by the user. Let's see the next model that is stock details. Over here, admin must select the product name. Based on the product name, system will specify the quantity available in the inventory. Now you must specify the number of products purchased. Based on the number of product purchased, system will update the stock details in the database. Click on to the update button. This stock details had been updated in the database. Let's see the next module that is prediction. To predict sales, the user must select the date 
from date as well as to date so i'm selecting first of march to till date that is 30th of july and click on to the submit button so you can see the highest category sales click on to the view subcategory once you click on view subcategory you will view the product chart so this is the product chart and you can see that the future sales prediction is shown over here this is the predicted sales of particular product let's see the next model that is recommended products over here the user can view the recommended products and you can export these details to excel sheet by clicking to export to excel button let's see the next model that is view product details over here the admin can view various products which are available in the database and you can edit the product details by clicking on to the edit button and you can edit the amount and the description once it clicks on to the update button these details will be updated in the database as well as you can delete the product by clicking on to the delete button this is how the admin login works this is how online user behavior analysis on graphical model works thank you